everyone, welcome to our channel. In this tutorial, we will show you how to prepare exploded diagrams with SketchUp to Illustrator workflow. It'll take less than 10 minutes. Let's start with the 3D model. As you can see, we grouped each floor separately and divided them. A big part of making a diagram is preparing the 3D model. If your model is clean, you can quickly make the visualizations. To make this model minimal, we've used our 3D house furniture set, perfect for creating axonometric diagrams with its simple design. This set will never weigh your file down. We highly recommend you check it out. The link is in the description box below. There are several changes we can make to this model to work much more efficiently when we move on to Illustrator. First, we'll go ahead and delete the windows showing the inside of the house. The reason we do this is that the transparency of the windows wouldn't show on the 2D exports. Then, we made the furniture and building tags different colors from each other. We'll open the Styles window to further change the model's features. From Styles, go to Edit Menu and select Face Options. We'll choose the second style. Then, to apply the tag colors to outlines, we'll go to Edge Options and select Color by Material. Lastly, we'll go to Modeling Options and check the Color by Tag box. Thanks to this coloring, we'll be able to easily select and edit the building and furniture in Illustrator. Now, we'll hide the unexploded model to work on our exploded one. We made windows and walls into components while modeling to easily separate them like this. You can make your diagram much more dynamic by further taking the building apart. Just select and move the parts that are made into components. Once you are done, go to File, Export, and select to D-Graphic. There, you can choose PDF format. Click Export and your PDF file will be ready. Now we'll move on to Illustrator and open the PDF in a new file. We'll set the artboard size and center our building to the artboard. We'll use a monochromatic green color palette for the diagram. At the end of the video, we will also show you how you can convert to different color palettes with a single command. Keep on watching for that. We've added a background layer to the Layers panel and colored it with the Rectangle tool. We'll select a white line, then go to Select, Same, Fill Color and Stroke to select all white lines. With the Eyedropper tool, we'll turn their color green and increase their stroke weight. We'll select the furniture likewise, and lower their stroke weight. This is why we made the lines in different colors in SketchUp earlier, to be able to easily choose and edit them separately. Don't forget to choose round cap and round joint options from the strokes panel. This way, lines will look much smoother. Since the lines are exported from the 3D model, some of them are missing. We'll quickly complete them. Now we can color with live paint. Select all. Go to object. Live Paint, Make. Your Live Paint group is ready. For coloring, we choose white. Then we'll select the Live Paint Bucket tool. Click the group three times to color all. To select a different color in Live Paint mode, press Alt key and choose the color. We'll color the floors light green. Then to show the section fills, we'll choose a darker green. To edit the live paint group, you'll need to expand it and then ungroup it twice. We've added surfaces everywhere, so don't forget to delete the surfaces in the windows and between the floors. Now, we'll add dash lines to show the projections. Go to the Strokes panel and check the dash line box. Here you can change the dash and gap properties. Instead of drawing them all one by one, you can copy a dash line. Just hold down the Alt key and drag.
Adding a few plants and furniture fills the scene even more. For this, we will use furniture and plants from our axonometric vector packs. Their links are in the description box below. Let's quickly match their colors to the color palette. Again, go to Select, Same, Fill Color and Stroke. Then choose the color you want to apply with the eyedropper tool. Repeat the same steps for all vector blocks. You can also use flat vector blocks in axonometric diagrams. This vegetation pack is full of detailed trees, we'll choose an outline version. We've also added the link to these vector trees, you can check out the description box below. To add the plants first, we scaled them. Then, to match their angle to the buildings, you can use the shear tool. Drag and pull from the corners until it matches the angle. We always copy by holding down the Alt key and dragging. If you couldn't get the exact angle you want with the Shear tool, go to Free Transform tool and choose Free Distort. It gives you more freedom. We'll add the trees to the blank spaces. Now, we wanted to add a couple of hand vectors to enhance the diagrammatic effect. You can go to arcade.co, it has a great vector hand pack. Search for hands and you can get this vector pack with 50 different hands into different styles. Link is in the description box below. We chose the hand poses that suit our scene and started to place them. We drew additional parts when it's necessary and match the color palette. You can always draw the hands yourself, but the hand is one of the most difficult things to draw. It may take your time to draw it correctly. Such vectors save a lot of time. And that's it. Our exploded diagram is complete. Now we're going to export it as a JPEG and show you a great tip to easily change the colors. Open the JPEG in Photoshop. Go to Adjustments and select Hue and Saturation. This is where the magic happens. Drag the hue slider to find the color you want. Once you choose a color, you can adjust its saturation to make it pop. We'll make one red and one blue. So easy, isn't it? We've exported the red and blue versions as JPEG and that is all. And that brings us to the end of this tutorial. We really like the blue filtered version. Which one was your favorite? Feel free to share it with us in the comments. We hope you liked this tutorial. Until next time.